Okay, the last test that I'm showing you guys here is the compression test. Uh, here's the spark plug hole right here, okay? Uh, spark plug's out. Well, there it is in my hand. There's your proof, okay? Um, so, again, I need to be a bit of an octopus to do this. Um, and my fingers and thumbs are a little bigger than yours, so I should be able to do this with a finger. I'm just going to stick my finger in there and pull the cord. And uh, if you just heard that little popping, hissing noise, that was a compression stroke and that was the air pushing past my finger um, and so that's proof that the piston is coming up on a compression stroke and it's proof that there's a bit of compression there this is not a very precise test okay all it's doing is proving that you're making pressure but it's not measuring how much pressure you have uh, for that you actually have to use a compression gauge uh, remember that a compression gauge has the same threads on the end of it as what the spark plug does and so it threads in there just like a spark plug except it's got a, an air hose coming out of it with a gauge and the gauge measures PSI pounds per square inch it measures how much pressure is being created inside the cylinder and you can get a reading and small engines like this should be you know more than 60 PSI for sure uh, you'd love to see 80 or 90 uh, when you start getting into power sports equipment um, dirt bikes and sleds and quads then you're going to be into the low hundreds um, I had a skidoo and the specifications of that was 130 psi per cylinder that's what the specifications were expecting you to get um, one thing you can do is there's a rent-a-tool program at Canadian Tire and so you can go to the automotive service counter and it's it, it's it's called a rent a tool program but really it's a buy a tool and bring a tool back program um, because that's what you do right there's a there's a chart at the auto service counter with a whole bunch of different types of tools on it um, and so you buy the tool and that way if you don't return it at least it's paid for and the store the store doesn't you know have to eat that loss because that wouldn't be fair um, so you buy the tool and then you bring it home and you use it and then you return it with your receipt and they will credit the money back um, and so that's a nice service that Canadian Tire provides and obviously you know what's in it for them well hopefully you go there to buy oil and spark plugs and air filters and stuff so then they make a little bit of profit off of that service um, but they also help you do some maintenance for yourself Okay, so that's a nice option that you can consider. Um, they have a bunch of different tools that you can buy and return like that in their program. But yeah, that's a very, very basic um, compression test. And then if you want real numbers, you got to get the tool.